Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, my YouTube family. How y'all doing on this good Wednesday morning? Hope you guys are feeling good. Well, 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 well. You know what? I always have a lot to talk about when I come on YouTube, but when I start the video, I can never remember what the hell I was going to say. Ain't that a shame? That is such a shame. Um, I want to say something because I feel like, you know, if you're going to do something, do it now. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait till you get a certain age to want to do something. I'm telling you because you're going, you're going to regret it. And I'm not saying I'm saying go out and do something stupid, but I'm saying talking about making smart decisions, focusing on your goals, focusing focusing on your on your dreams and stuff like that. You know, you gotta don't procrastinate on that. And right now in life, I'm so happy that you know when I was in my early 20s, I didn't procrastinate on certain stuff. You know, I just got up. And got it done it's because now that I'm 30 you know it's not on my mind it's not messing with me like damn I should have done this damn I should have done that because I feel like when you when you constantly put you can't constantly put things off especially you know your responsibilities things that you're supposed to do you can't constantly put those things off because it's in the long run the long run is going to come back to hunt you and it's going to constantly be on your mind so whatever it is that you need to do whatever it is that you're supposed to be focused on it focus on that so that way when you do get a certain age you know you're not stressing about what you should have done and how you could have did this and you're not backed up on you know your responsibilities or whatever it is that you're supposed to do you know so you got to really focus on that but now, like, in my life, I'm very proud of myself. And I'm very proud that, you know, if it was something that I needed to get done, I got it done. You know what I'm saying? But, whew, it's a lot. Um, I don't know, I'm going to be getting a new phone. That's one thing I do got to do. I got to get a new phone. Um... I don't really have the, the money for it now because what I really wanted to do, I really wanted to focus on my um on my credit. So my credit is good now because I got to um, I started with a secured credit card and I didn't really have any credit history. So I had to get that first. But now my credit is going up, which is a good thing. You know, um, you know, it's one little thing at a time but yeah i'm supposed to be getting a new phone so I'm trying to save and you know stack my money for that it's really not that expensive but still i just haven't really put it on my responsibilities list but i'm going to get a new phone because i definitely want the new camera so then i'll be able to upload some better quality videos up here on youtube um but i don't know what's going on what it is that's going on in the dating world I'm talking about and I'm really starting to be be believe that you know the roles are starting to to become reversed and why why are we living in times where you know the men are not chivalrous as they used to be the men you know don't want to take women out on dates anymore like really what it is what is it and that's one thing about me. Like, I do want to focus on, I want to put myself out there to start dating and stuff like that. I really do. But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want to invite, invite the wrong type of energy into my life. Because once you invite the wrong type of energy into your life, a lot of things could get misconstrued. Not misconstrued, that's the wrong. A lot of things can get messed up when you allow the wrong people into your life. And But that, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you should just not just want to deal with anyone you know you just have to be smart and strategic on who you allow into your life you know because people supposed to come into your life to make your life better to make your life easier and I don't want nobody stressing me out I don't because I'm good you know what I'm saying I'm good like 
like I honestly really feel good about myself and it's honestly it took a it took a while to get here you know what I'm saying I really didn't think that I was ever going to get to a place in my life where I really felt good about myself you know what I'm saying and I'm, now that I'm taking set up taking care better care of myself better care of my health physically mentally you know I truly truly feel good about myself and I don't want nobody coming in my life trying to mess up what I got you know what I'm saying so if you're not trying to elevate me you know what I'm saying? You're not trying to help me get money. Then I don't want you in my life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sick and tired of men, you know, trying to leech off of women. You know what I'm saying? You got so many men out here trying to leech off of women, trying to use women for their resources. And y'all ladies, y'all got to stop allowing these men to use y'all up. Stop doing that because, you know, that's that's what's making y'all mad at the end of the day. That's what's making y'all miserable at the end of the day because y'all sitting here allowing these men to use y'all up. You know, y'all not asking anything of them. And I'm not saying that I've never been that girl before because I have been that girl before. You know what I'm saying? And I was really mad at myself for the way that I allowed a man to treat me. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all ladies to, you know, take care of yourselves. You know, take better care. Take care of yourself mentally, physically, financially, spiritually. So that way... When a man sees you, he knows he, he can't he can't approach you with he can't approach you with that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And y'all women, y'all y'all study allowing these men to use y'all up, break y'all hearts and stuff like that. And these men, they not they don't give a fuck. They over, they really do not give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I real what I know one thing about I know about women is that when we lay down with the men. And no matter how he feels about us, he could think that he could just think that you're a hoe for the night. He could think that, you know, you're you're just some sleazy chick. You know, he could just, you know, think about you as a bitch off the streets, not giving no fucks about you. But he just wants to get your get your goodies. And that's all the only thing that's going on going through his mind. But when you're laying down with your man. Laying down with a man, it does not matter if he's a husband, your boyfriend, somebody you just met, somebody you just that you've been having feelings for. Eventually, that little hormone is going to be released, and you're going to catch some type of feelings for this man. You know what I'm saying? That's why women have to be really careful who they lay down with because we catch feelings easier. And this man. Overall, he has no feelings for us. But when he's, you're laying down and he's penetrating you, you start to feel something. Those, you're going to start to feel some type of emotion, some type of connection. You know what I'm saying? Because you're allowing this man into your womb. You know what I'm saying? You're allowing him in, him inside of you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful about that. You know, now, because I'm just the type of woman I do not lay down with anybody. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these women, they got all types of demons running up inside of them. You know, they got, they're really mentally messed up, emotionally scarred because of just laying down with anybody. And you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? A man has to value, value you, sir. Val, value, uh, a man has to value you first. And he has to, you know, care about your feelings he has to care about you overall as a person and how he makes you feel so y'all just gotta be y'all gotta be careful with that you know what i'm saying and i know that the devil comes to lie steal and destroy so most importantly try to stay strong and try to stay connected to god you know what i'm saying and when I wake up, I say a little prayer. When I go to bed, I say a little prayer. When I'm out and about, I say a little prayer. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be led into the wrong place. You know what I'm saying? And I want God to bring me to where he wants me to be. And that's it. But on that note, I love y'all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next video.